this Italian version of Hush. Oh, but look at this stuff, man. Uh, Beatles Records. Oh, this one's Swan. Italian Parlophone. <clears throat> That's the box. I got the pole man's blues. I shop at second hand stores. Got hey guys, what's up? Shoes, Nick Hayes here. Oh, I did it. I said, hey guys, what's up? I'm out here kind of doing the new me, so to speak. And I had a feeling today. I just had that feeling. I'm like, today I'm going to find some good records. Uh, and I know when I watch other guys that do this kind of thing, they say that, like, you know, sometimes you just get a feeling. And I had it. And I, I went with my gut. So I started my morning off at a, at a thrift store. There was barely anything there. So I went to the front counter uh, with the two or three things that I'd found, which was just cassettes, by the way. And I said to the lady, I said, so you guys don't have any records here, any uh, singles, like 45s? She went, you have to ask the community where they are. <laughs> I was like, okay. So I continued my journey on to the Buffalo City Mission, and I've done a video from there before. It's one of my favorite places to check, and I walked in, and there was three guys just hovering around all the records and stuff, and I'm like, well, I'll give them their six feet of distance, and I'll be polite, and I'll just kind of walk around the store till they, till they move, or at least till they break up a little bit. In the very back of the store, was a, uh, a box of picture sleeve records which hadn't even made it out yet, but they were priced. So I, uh, I grabbed the whole box and I took it up to the counter and the lady said to me, you know, this is how much they're gonna be. And I was like, okay, well look, you know what? I have always supported the Buffalo City Mission. I've donated to, the, donated to them a bunch of times. I've done shows in conjunction with them uh, and, and I wanna support it. So sure, I'll take the whole box. And she just gave me this like, the whole box look and I said yes I'll take the whole box I can't wait to show you guys what's in there because I'll tell you what there's some crazy Italian late 60s psychedelic music in there uh, in picture sleeves you're gonna love some of the stuff here I'll show you just two of them real quick do dig and check these out they look cool and I can't wait to give them a listen but I just went to go see uh, another store here in Woodlawn New York uh, place called the uh, Rick's Record Shack. And I have a picture of the front of it here. I used to go shop at Rick's place when he was in a different town, a few towns over. He always had great records. And this store did not disappoint. And I gotta tell you, I probably bought more for my personal collection than I did for anything else. Uh, but I'm gonna show you some of the things I found, but do, just check out this one first of all. Check out the condition on this Albert King record and check out the condition on this Junior Parker record. I am stoked, man, I'm really excited. And I'll show you some more of that stuff that I got there too. So right now, three minutes into a rant, I just pulled into a Goodwill uh, here in Hamburg area, and I'm gonna check out and see what they have. Last time I went here, they didn't have too much, but it never hurts to look. So stick around, we'll see what we As expected, not too much in there. Uh, I don't. I kind of don't want to know what to make of these things. Here's what I will say though: uh, the Goodwill store online, which I believe is shop shopgoodwill.com. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on it, and it's crazy. They sell records by the pound in there, 45s, I should say. Literally, you can buy like 20 pounds at a time. Um, you can't look through anything, and God only knows what the condition is. But uh, I guess maybe that's what Goodwills are doing from now on. I have no idea. But uh, but across the street here is a place called Gently Used Home Store. Uh, and I do remember seeing some records in there many years ago when I went in here. So I'm going to go check that out. Hopefully something else. Of course, I'm having a Cracker Jack day. I shouldn't get greedy. <laughs> It was a really great store. I totally dug it. I did find a small selection of records. Check out this little stand. It was cute. Uh, as far as the 45s that you see there, most of those were square dance and hook 45s, but I did grab a handful of uh, stuff from the, from the 50s that I'm not familiar with, but who knows? Uh, maybe it'll inspire me or maybe it'll be something that I just uh, uh, put in the web store. But I thought, I thought everything was in really good shape. That's what excited me. Uh, on to 78s. First thing first, check out this one. This literally says record album right on the front of it. So it reminds us all why it was an album because back in the day they came 
in an album like this. Uh, another reminder is to check out this box set. And I call it a box set because it's literally a box, cardboard box, of Dixieland jazz stuff. Uh, it was recorded right in New Orleans. Now, I don't collect 78s. As a matter of fact, I have one. Uh, and I bought it literally on the first episode that we did of this. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to get into it. I, I think they sound okay. We prefer the sound of the 45. Uh, but this might be cool. This might give me some inspiration. And for a buck, I couldn't complain. Okay, I'm here in the basement. I'm just now getting a hold of everything. Uh, there's some really cool stuff that I got. So first of all, the stuff I got from uh, Rick's Record Shack, uh, like here's Blue Velvet, Blue Lana Pressing of La Bamba and Donna, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, here's the two of the Junior Parker records. I'm excited about this one because this one's in really, really good shape. It's Marlena Shaw record, I'm Satisfied and Woman of the Ghetto. Not familiar with it at all. Of course, I know they did that label. I looked it up, listened to it a little bit, and it sounds really cool. I'm excited about that. Another one that's strange, and believe it or not, it is on Discogs, but this is Marshall Wild Windy Bill McKay, uh, and it's signed to Bonnie uh, by Bill McKay. Uh, looks like it's, uh, it's like stories and Western stories and songs, so I'll check that out. I'm sure you guys will dig that too, but uh, as far as... <clears throat> Rick's Record Shack, that's what I got there. I just want to kind of do a brief primer. Primer on the, uh, uh, the psychedelic stuff that I got, the all Italian stuff. So first thing first, check out this Italian version of Hush by Deep Purple is really cool. Uh, but look at this stuff, man. It is really cool. It's in great shape. It's got great colors, obviously. Uh, also on the box were a couple of Beatle, uh, Beatles records. Uh, this one is a Capitol. Uh, this one is also, uh, this one's Swan. Uh, but this one is uh, an Italian parlophone of Heiji and Revolution. And then there was this really cool record on the prize, uh, which I got a quick moment to listen to, and it was really cool. I'm excited about that. But there will have to be a part two of this video because <clears throat> that's the box so a whole box of psychedelic and weird late 60s stuff that came from Italy and I want to give you a little bit of the backstory on that Here, at least what I think there's a bunch of uh, there's two or three records in here on how to speak English so one could assume that these all came over from Italy with the gentleman uh, and uh, he was learning to speak English and also I want to add I won't be able to find it in time. I don't want this to be a weird video. So. Uh, but I'm going to tell you more about that stuff. I'm excited to listen to some of it because obviously it's just going to be a different perspective on uh, the uh, psychedelic rock that we know. And then last but certainly not least, uh, this was a cool find. I got this at Rick's Record Shack. Uh, but it's just an old uh, Columbia 45 box. It's a little funky. It's a little old. But I dig it, man. And uh, that was something that I wanted to grab while I was there. So look for part two of this, uh, this find that happened today in probably a couple of weeks. Uh, I've got a bunch of things that I've been buying. So I hope you guys are excited. Uh, I'm excited to go through it and listen to it. So stick around, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.